Hey there YouTubers, this is Jace Marshall for Marshall Made Collectibles. Today we're doing an unboxing and review of ACI Toys International um, Priscus figure and this is their exclusive version. Now you may have seen the video that I did before where I've already done a review of Priscus and I absolutely love ACI uh, Toys uh, products just for the quality, detail, sculpt and uh, just the the amount of work that they put into their stuff is amazing. Uh, this is part of their their Warriors uh, line, and this is uh, the Gladiators of Rome. It's the number three version. They've already done a limited version of Spartacus. They did a limited version of uh, Flamma. Now this is their parade or limited version of Priscus. And the only place that you can get this figure is over at ACIToys.com and it's in their exclusive shop and uh, there will be a link in the description of this video that will take you right over to ACI's if you want to go ahead and pick up your own now Priscus figure here he is done to look like Crixus from the Spartacus series that was over on stars and the actor that played him was Manu Bennett and they did a really good job of getting the, the sculpt uh, almost dead on of uh, Manu for this thing. So let's go ahead and go ahead and open it. And um, you'll notice the boxes on Priscus is a little bit smaller and thinner than what we've seen before with the Flamma and the Spartacus figure, but it's still done with like a really nice shot of the figure. Um, you've got the Gladiators of Rome logo down at the bottom and the number three because it's the third in the series. Um, nice shot of him on the side and of course the gear that he's wearing on all these uh, these photos that you're seeing on the box is the standard figure this a limited version he's gonna come with like the the arm and the leg wraps are gonna be cleaner the everything that you see that's the armor pieces are gonna be a different color they're gonna be silver and it's uh, and he comes with like a cape because this is what he would wear as he was parading through the streets of Rome before going into the Colosseum on the back you've got the highlights of what the figure the other contents that are in the box some more pictures of uh, Priscus here a great picture where you can see the head sculpt and he even has a scar over the eye just like uh, Manu Benedict's character had in the Spartacus series and if you haven't seen the Spartacus series on stars I highly recommend it they're really great and uh, then we got another picture of the figure in action and again back on the front what I love about these boxes is uh, they've really taken a, 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 a note from like companies like Hot Toys and what have you. They're high quality. You're going to want to save these. And they're very collector friendly. You can take the figure out without ruining the box. And let's go ahead and open it up. It's on a magnetic flap. You open it up and on the front you have a little history of Priscus. And it just says, Priscus is a renowned gladiator who fought his own glory and freedom. With strong will, he went through years of harsh training and severe challenges. He finally declared victory with his opponent, Versus, at the games and the opening of the Colosseum. Lives shine when stand firm in faith. And then you have an awesome picture. And uh, I even mentioned this in the first time I did a review of the standard figure. This is something that really could be framed. And you have a picture of the helmet that comes with the figure, his two battle axes, and it's just done on this on this really nice board that uh, covers the, the figure. And we'll go ahead and remove that. And on the sides, you even have the name. Okay. And then he has his instructions of how to put together the helmet, and, and like most of the ACI's products they let you know if you're going to remove the hands and exchange them it's best to heat them up that way you're not going to be breaking any pegs and uh, I'm I'm a firm believer in ACI bodies I use them for a lot a lot of my customs that I make through Marshall made collectibles and I just love the muscle bodies and the new Bruce bodies are are basically what these figures are on okay so let's go ahead and take a look and once you take that off you have a nice window display you can see Priscus in here like I said 
his arm wraps. Uh, you can't really see the leg because he comes with a cape, which is a little bit different because the uh, standard figure didn't have that. And again, this is part of the parade version. He's got the helmet that's done in silver, the axes, which are really well done, and they're weathered. You can even see like little uh, marks on the hilt of the, the, the arms of the axes. And these are all done in metal. These are all die cast. This is not uh, nothing plastic. Comes with uh, three extra pairs of hands besides the ones that are already on the body. And I can't tell yet, but when we get this out, the figure has a different skin tone than the standard figure. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and take uh, Priscus out of uh, the clamshell here on the box. And we'll take some more pictures at the very end and I'll finish up my review once we get them all put together. So just give me a moment and we'll be right back. Okay everybody, we have the Priscus Parade exclusive version all put together. Which really, there isn't a lot to do. Uh, Priscus comes out of the box ready. Uh, all I did was change his hands to a more gripping hand so he could hold his battle axes better. And put the feathers into the helmet. One thing I've noticed right away that I, I like what ACI has done is the hands seem to be made out of a softer vinyl or softer rubber than uh, the previous releases. And uh, let me show you what I mean. Um, they come off a lot easier. I did heat up the hands, but uh, I probably didn't need to so much. But they are much, much more flexible, which is a, a, a huge improvement. So um, their R&D department has definitely jumped leaps and bounds on, on some of the stuff. I've noticed on the body, the coloring and the shading is probably like 50-60% better than the original uh, Priscus figure. That It looks gorgeous. Um, the cape that he comes with is a nice purple kind of soft velveteen feel to it. It has a really nice sheen to it. Uh, again, we got that incredible chain mail that is on that arm individual links no fabric here trying to pass it off as chain mail this is actual chain mail and uh, it is gorgeous like I said the axes are, are die cast metal and they're individually each one is the handles are wrapped um, the joints on the figure are excellent so even though he has these heavy metal axes we're not seeing the arm flopping down or anything like that um, Again, the head is repainted differently than the original version, and it is done stunningly well. Uh, you can actually even see the veins over the eye, the subtle shade of uh, like a five o'clock shadow. He still has that scar above the eye. Beautifully, beautifully done. Uh, gorgeous head. In fact, um, my other version that I have, the regular version, I'll probably display him with the helmet, and this one I will keep with the helmet on a display base just so uh, we can see that uh, gorgeous head sculpt. Again, all the leather work on him, uh, simulated leather work, is done really well. The belt with the silver highlights is, is done extremely well. You've got the little rivets, his loincloth, even in the back of the belt you have the buckle and you can see where it attaches. The little frailings all been weathered on his, uh, like his skirt. Like I said before, since this is the parade version, his leggings and his arm leggings are all nice and white. They don't look like they've been uh, like through the ringer. And see what I mean by the, the body? See how you can see the, the shading in the body? You can actually even see the veins in the back of his legs. I mean, just gorgeous detail. And instead of the gold or the, the brass color like we had before of uh, the leg armor, it's all done in silver. And he is just, he is a, a gorgeous addition to your gladiator figures. Um, and this is one that you don't want to miss. Considering that there's only 100 worldwide, I would jump on this if you if you collect these. Uh, the price is comparable to even like the regular Prixis figure. So, uh, an uh, awesome addition. And uh, we'll touch up on the helmet because I know that's one of the things that everybody loves. And you'll notice that I just have him standing right now. Yeah, I have him leaning a little bit towards that box. But right now he's standing up on his own holding uh, that heavy uh, die cast axes. And I don't even have him in a stand right now. And that's, that's how solidly built those ACI bodies are. And the helmet, let's go ahead and take a closer look at that. 
you can see the weathering and the detail on this it is absolutely gorgeous uh, the difference on this, like I said, the original release was a gold or brass type colored helmet. The blue feathers, the feather on the back was still a, a black plume, but just stunning. You've got the individual eye uh, shields that can actually pop out and be removed. The face shield can be removed if you just wanted to have the helmet as like a hat. Um, really, really well detailed. Fits on the figure perfectly. Just barely put it on like that and an inc incredible display piece and uh, definitely a highlight of anybody's like gladiator collection so um, out of a scale of 1 to 10 this is definitely a 10 again I think ACI uh, knocks these gladiator figures out of the park hope to be doing some more reviews I'm going to be doing a review on the Versus figure and he's part of the gladiators of Rome too he's number four and I'm going to be doing version B. They did two different versions of that figure. And I uh, hope to be doing some reviews of the Roman uh, generals and the Roman figures that ACI is putting out in the full garb. Uh, they got some incredible um, products coming down the pipeline. So check back and check my reviews. And stay tuned for some uh, high definition photos right now coming up after this. Thank you and take care. Have a great day.